can reach up to widths of 6 inches, which comes in really handy when it comes to listening out for food hiding either underground or in the crest of trees. Where are you? <laughs> when they do find something really good to eat, they will try to dig at it with the help of their sharp curved claws. They might seem small, but they have all the necessary adaptation to survive and thrive in the African continent. The beautiful coloration you're looking at, well, it helps very much with camouflage. But then apart from that, kind of foxes also have got really big forepads that would allow them to move comfortably under extreme weather conditions. Now, take your last few shots, Isaiah. We're not going to keep the skittish boy out for too long. He's very, very, very reactive. All right, last few shots done. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Zaya, our pet. Now we go home, okay? This way. You've got to drop it, focus. Yes. It's okay to let go in life. Step over, come on. Come on. Yes, good girl, Bubbles. Go for the other one. You can do it. Bubbles. Bubbles. What's wrong with Team Young? Where are you going? You talk to it. All right, everybody, you know, the girls did your best. I want a big round of applause. Bubbles, Bailey, and Fiona. And they like to work. Okay, we got one single paper cup, three bins, aluminum, plastic, and others. This one goes right into... You have an amazing sense of smell. But then the highlight for raccoons would have to be their dexterous paw. Well, hyenas. I know for their powerful digestive system, which would allow them to digest the bones, the skin, the teeth, and even the hooks of their prey. But then if they're relatively short the tail and smaller size. Here it comes. This is Xiaowei, our slender little servo. You can see he has a pair of really slender forepaws, allowing him not just to dig deep into the ground, but also into really tight holes to look for food. You might also amaze you to know, servos can leap. 10 to 15 feet off the ground to catch little flying birds that are slow for takeoff. Keep your eyes on Shawi. If we are lucky tonight, this boy will be showing us just how high this feline can go. Eyes on the prize, Shawi. You can do this. Come on.
instead, these noodles also feed on fruits, fish, and they also have favorite birds' eggs. Right about now, gentle mind, please do not reach out to touch the animals and be very, very mindful of your flag. Ladies and gentlemen, amongst us, we've got two very handsome boys. Right up there, that is Ted. Right over here, we've got Shani. Well, apart from their remarkable eyesight, Victorians also have an amazing sense of smell and hearing, and that makes them one of the most versatile of all nine predators. For now, focus your attention on Shani, and you would notice Venturos have got really stubby legs and a rather bear-like walk. That is exactly why they are also known as the Asian Bear Cat. This civet possess a unique adaptation, and it comes in the form of their long and powerful prehensile tail. In fact, you can see that tail is powerful enough to support their entire body weight. Effortlessly, this would allow big turtles not just to climb up trees, but also to hang on to branches easily. Give it up for Shani and Mason, everybody. You've been a great crowd. Thank you so much for joining us. And have a lovely night ahead here in the Madison Party.